Like, what is going on? I mean, there was the electric dams I saw earlier, but despite their size, those would no way be efficient. Not... Okay, I just look... I just have... Yeah, Ash vs. Evil Dead announced TV series for sometime this year. Yeah, nice. 2015. Oh, Cam Campbell also recently... Uh, Appeared in the up appeared as man in Hawaiian shirt in the upcoming Welcome to Purgatory. Man in Hawaiian shirt, awesome. One of the defining roles of a generation. I will always remember him as the best voice of Spider-Man, uh, in the Spider-Man games, rather, not as Spider-Man. He was like he was like the narrator tutorial guy, wasn't He's he? He's in all of the class the classic. Oh, okay, the... this. Who are, who are the workers? They were convict labor. This here is what you get when you show a bit of leniency to fuck off. So they populated the underside of the city with convicts. Why? <laughs> it's cheap labor. <laughs> you know, why? You know why have why you know why waste your convict workers? You know just making license plates when they could be, you know. Manning the shield reactors for your incredibly dangerous resort. I had a legitimate, like, I think, good idea about the prison system. Oh, no. Like, no, 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 no. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll run it by somebody, not my idiotic friends, at 3 in the morning. <laughs> because this is when we workshop this idea, and we all think it's gold. So. Were you high at the time? No. I don't get high. My friend, I. Except on life. I, exactly. Chapter six. I mean, Act six, chapter two. Bad trouble and knocking. Okay, hit me. What's so? Hit me with your 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 penal reform idea. So we would. Awesome. So we would. Um, ha I wasn't trying to be dirty. Or anything. <laughs> sure. In this dick centric universe. No, okay. It it's it's working its influence on me even even, even con both consciously and unconsciously. Okay, go ahead. What's so your, what's your so idea? we've had these like generator like objects that could be powered by humans right not but but like physical like the way it so you're gonna build the, you're gonna build the matrix. no 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 i i realized how that sounded for so <laughs> so uh, the way regular electricity is generated is through turbines and so is this gonna be a giant colony of human hamster wheels next it, is that where this it's is somewhat like that <laughs> oh god but but like you have to do it but in exchange you get credits so you can do things like get tvs for your tv time for your you know being whatever uh and uh books and uh, you know access to other stuff in prison and uh that way the prison can be self-sustaining or at least produce energy i imagine the capital outlay for to build your your hamster wheel complex would be quite a bit. It might be pretty high. I I, I okay. admit. Also, also, you'd have a problem with once all these convicts got out of prison, they'd all have extremely powerful lower bodies, which might be problematic. <laughs> I don't like they they already can work out like the. Uh oh, look, let's see, we're heading down into the mines. <laughs> Twenty-eight thousand convict laborers. What? What's a blowjob model? I have no idea. That, that doesn't even make any sense. There aren't... I know very little about oh. this. Is there a market for the, those kind of models? <laughs> Maybe in the future. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't... What would they be modeling? Blowjob, I guess. But I don't know. <laughs> This is this is yet another aspect of the Bulletstorm universe that's probably better not to think about. Anyways, I think my prison idea is great. 
I'll pitch it to the government, and I expect them to reject it. Well, it's it's better than putting them in charge of your gamma ray shields. It's true. In your hellish, post-apocalyptic resort town. It's true. It's true. My dad. And also, go ahead. And there's, remember we talked about like people get exposed to the waste and mutating. Yeah. Remember those horrible inhuman hell beasts we've been attacked by. Yeah. There I mean, I kind of figured. Like when I found out they were. Oh god, it's on us! Oh no, this can't be good. <laughs> then the sorrow shows up. Awesome. Highly radioactive. Yeah, you might want to get out of that sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that inside you, probably. Yeah, hold your breath, that will <laughs> That help. would not be good. If the water is, like, glowing like this, I think you're past the point. Like, yeah, like in for a penny, in for a pound. It doesn't really <laughs> matter at this point. Well, I don't know if it's water. I think it's, like, just poisonous sludge. Which actually, which probably makes it worse rather than better, but... Maybe it's just naturally phosphorescent. Maybe. I mean, we're still doomed, but... You... My... Oh, yeah, you can knock him in there. That hurts him. Or, no, it doesn't. Oh, my dad's idea for prisons was to, um, first of all, decommission Nebraska as a state, which is <laughs> reason one no one will why notice. I told him this would be never work. And then two... Oh, and I'm dead. Nice. Was to just so give funny. every prisoner the ability to create their own farm and have them live off the land. And just, like, enclose Nebraska from the rest of the country? Yes. And if the prisoners can survive, great. And if they can't, oh well. And I'm like, Dad, that would never get past. And he's like, shut up. It's great. It's a good idea. <laughs> the farms will be fertilized with the bodies of the slain. Okay, now let's, let's try that. That part, up, that part there that I died in, that is a tricky part. There's Because there's a lot of fire coming under a lot of fire and there's not a whole lot of cover. Well, it's like a death trap. Like, I guess this is reason one, like, you've created a situation that's nigh impossible to live through. And that's even without, before you getting into the whole being plunged into green, glowing, radioactive, and or toxic fluids. You, so you can't walk by default, can you? What do you mean? Are you auto auto sprinting? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. I think I'm just holding the X button. Game's a bit weird in that X X is sprint. That is weird. Which you don't see much in first person shooters. Sometimes you see it in, like third person games. And I hear I'm speaking of X on a uh, PlayStation pad. Which would be a. Yeah, on a, on a, and I'm dead again. I think I died even quicker that time. Mm -hmm. You think I'd become less inept on my second attempt, but not always. Wait, aren't you playing this on a PC? Oh, you mean the when I played it originally? Oh right. Oh. No, I played this on PS3. Okay. Also, back to, back to the topic of, of blowjob models and what they might be. Um, no. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Blowjob models. Speaking of blowjob models. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't... You didn't note the yellow fever. That's a song in, um, Sleeping Dogs. Is yeah. it? Really? Yeah, it's sung by actually one of the uh, side characters. I think it's the girl who's voiced by Lucy Liu. Oh, is that like one of the karaoke songs? Or no, something? no, it's it's one of the songs on the radio. It's a song about how this lady knows this white guy who's super into Asian girls and how he keeps awesome. cheating on her constantly, but she can't get enough of him. 
It's also incredibly catchy, which makes me mad. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, see, not a lot, not a whole lot of places to hide. Yeah. Crossfire is real easy to get you here. Is that just a random line of dialogue, or is he saying that? What's it's that? good to be back in the shit. <laughs> I'm not sure. See that? I am not picking up anything. Hmm. That line was weird to me, and I don't know why. Nice. There's that marmalade again. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> you just roll into it. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's a... The, the, the shotgun mission have been really fun. It also has perhaps the best charge shot ability. Yeah, is that, I'm not even sure what it is. It's like delayed. It's just this big blast of like, of like fire. Nice. If uh, Black Ops is to be believed, the uh, fire shotgun is a real thing. Well, there are, there are like shotgun rounds that are like incendiary. How does that work? I think it just shoots a bunch of, like, I don't know, flaming debris, maybe burning metal. Mm. You know there are those rocks that cause uh, sparks when they get wet? What, sodium? Or, no, no, they don't cause sparks. They cause, um... I mean, sodium will, like, burn in water. Yeah. What's it called? Um... Oh god, I saw it on the other day on the Discovery Channel. There are these old style helmets where you um, have a canister full of rocks that get water dripped onto them and they release this gas that's super flammable. And they used to be used for uh, hiking helmets. Oh no. But, um... There are some metals that can... that are relatively flammable, like, uh... like magnesium. Yeah, there's those ones that, that like, blow up in the Like, water. if you make... If you, that if you, like, if you fire... You could, it maybe, if you, maybe it's, like, it's, like, magnesium or aluminum shot that's been heated enough to burn. Hmm. I suppose. I, I find science fascinating because it's like magic for people like me who don't know enough about science to understand. Uh, I feel like I, I should like cut to like some insane clown posse. Yeah. JPEG or something. <laughs> the magnets. Oh. 
Oh, there it goes. I think you just want to slip insane clown posse references in where you can. I do. Yes, I, I won't deny. 